Hi Libra, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. And Libra, this is going to be one of their true intentions in love. Yes, it is. And the extended reading is going to be a little bit different than it has been. Hope you guys are all well. Let's get right into the reading, Libra. Please remember, though, that you can switch around the characters all day long in these readings, okay? And let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck, Libra. Ace of Cups, Temperance. I feel like you could have been dealing with a Sagittarian for a long time. King of Swords is in the reverse, and the King of Wands. You see, this is what I mean about a Sagittarian. Pretty sure here. King of Swords is in the reverse here, Libra. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're dealing right now, you're having a hard, a hard time, possibly. Maybe you can't make up your mind about a situation, King of Swords in the reverse. But I feel like this is you in the reverse because of a Sagittarian who could maybe be challenging you. I feel like you want a new beginning with them. And they could be somebody from the past, right? Six of Cups, uh, right? Six of Cups showing up. Let's see, right now, Libra, your energy is a Nine of Swords. This is what I mean about you being in the reverse. It's okay, Libra, because, you know, whatever, uh, what, what do they say? What goes up must come down, and, and, and vice versa, right? So if you're in the reverse here, you can uh, switch this around for yourself. Crossing you or challenging you is a Two of Swords. I feel like you don't know what to do about the Sagittarian. This is so clear. And your person, if they are a Sagittarian, Four of Pentacles are holding on to somebody here. Let's see. Or they are maybe uh, spying on somebody who's doing that. A Page of Swords. So let's see why you are full of anxiety, Libra. Let's see. King of Pentacles. Yeah. So this is like a continuation. I feel like you're dealing with a Sagittarian or a King of Pentacles, and they want to be together. Yeah, it's like a third party, definitely, and yeah, I feel like you could be dealing, your person could be this King of Pentacles or, or, but, or Sagittarius, but I feel like one of them is being sneaky, sneaky, right, Seven of Swords, yeah, you don't know if you need to, like, you don't know if they're choosing this other person, you don't know if they're moving forward with them, Two of Wands, you're unsure, and you can be unsure about your own future, possibly. Empress is showing up. Beg your pardon on my voice, you guys, but I'm still not over this cold. So I kind of sound like I'm 85. I'm not 85, all right, you guys. I'm 78. <laughs> Just kidding. And let's see the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands is in the reverse. This is third-party energy. Uh, kind of infringing or affecting a family dynamic or affecting a home or long-term relationship. The Five of Cups is what you want. Let's see. Queen of Cups. Wow. Six of Wands. I feel like you want to overcome this sad feeling in love. Yes. There could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio involved. Your person is holding on or holding back. Why is this four of pentacles there? Ten of pentacles in the reverse and the eight of swords. Wow. I feel like your person's holding on to somebody else, but they feel like a little stuck about it. Yeah. Because their union is in the reverse. Ten of pentacles. So at the same time, those SOBs, just teasing. <laughs> At the same time, they are holding on to somebody. They have like a little bit of guilt or uh, uneasiness to them. And their challenge is this Page of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. This is their crossing energy. They're thinking of rebuilding it with somebody. That's what they are thinking. And remember, we see the Six of Cups here. There's somebody from the past. So in the, why it's all happening for your person is the King of Cups. There could be a water sign here, as I mentioned, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Wow, these are all water energies right here. 
This could be, though, that your person is lying. I feel like they're just lying. Knight of Cups in the reverse. It's trickery. Yeah, with their secret here. Six of Swords. Yeah, they're thinking of leaving with their secret. They think they're slick. Yeah, they do. And in their desire position is Judgment and the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like what this is, your person wants to work it out with this uh, Queen of Pentacles person. Your person is probably a Sagittarian over here. Uh, Temperance and the King of Swords showing up. Let's pull some cards from the Kipper Fortune Telling cards and see what they have to say. Mm -hmm. About this type of behavior. <laughs> Just easy. See what we got? <laughs> Not really funny, but we have to we have to make uh kind of light of things or yeah, because of everything that is going on, right? Let's see what we have for and they're not telling us the truth, okay, you guys, please, whoever is watching the news, whatever you are reading, uh, first of all, the news is uh, biased, entirely biased, it's like, a, it's like a corporation almost, yeah, and they are owned by a specific somebody, I'm not going to say who it is here, because I don't want to get into any trouble, but you cannot believe the media, okay, please, you guys, <laughs> let's see what we have. Uh, and if you do, uh, you know, you should be looking for alternate, not just what's on the big time news that is, that is really owned in this country. Everybody has a price. That's the problem. So you can look for uh, underground. Uh, you can look at The Guardian. Mm -hmm. And there are some others, too, that I can't think of right now. But there are places to get your news <coughs> that is not going to be biased, okay? Let's see what we have. Toil and labor, marriage. Let's get back to the reading. I feel like what's going on here, Libra, is that uh, your person is probably a Sagittarian, as I said, who wants a King of Pentacles or vice versa, okay? The marriage, the thief. So there. I was saying that this could be a marriage in this reading, but I feel like thief, somebody is like a liar, of course, right? This person is causing loss. That's what the thief card is about. Toil and labor. Somebody can feel like their marriage is just a big job. It's a possibility. Mm -hmm. And somebody maybe is just working too hard. But there is a liar here with the thief and the marriage card. I feel like your person is challenging you with their infidelities. And just a minute, please. Just a minute, please. And uh, let me open this door. The unexpected income and the lover's card. So... Libra, either you or your person is expecting some money, yes, or the person they are dealing with. So let's see what we have. Let's finish putting out these uh, Kipper cards. And we have concern. Yeah, somebody's concerned here. I feel like this is you, Libra. Yeah. So you're worried about your cheating, yeah, your, uh, your, your kind of cheating person over here. Yeah, you are. <coughs> you could be concerned because you know money's coming, but... Maybe uh, your situation is almost over. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, there's a wealthy man here. Okay, maybe that is you, but somebody is wealthy here. I feel like they could be wealthy. Somebody could have a great job here. Wealthy man, occupation. Uh, somebody's concerned about money here. And this is, a, this is really interesting here because we have concern... Marriage, thief, unexpected income, lovers, the wealthy man, occupation, and sudden wealth. So uh, somebody could be, you know, sudden wealth. <coughs> somebody could be winning the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> but there's some type of a money, money coming in here. And we're going to find out all about your person, Libra, on Vimeo. Yes, we are. That is where the tell-all lives. Close the door. And we're going to talk about what they would want to say to you, Libra. Close the door. And how they feel, the blocks, what they're hiding, what they're fearing, their desires, and their true intentions. And all those videos are super affordable, you guys. You can see all of them. Uh, yeah, if you uh, would like to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and keep safe. The best way, you guys, is to always get your own reading. And please give a thumbs up, and share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.